Alright guys, first Nightmare Kill. Really not expecting much. Wow, I didn't get MVP in Full Inquisitor. Maybe he's an Inquisitor too, to be fair. 6 minutes 21, even on challenge mode, it's crazy fast. Kill number 2. Nothing, but it's Nightmare, so that's to be expected. Next kill. Oh wow, I sank riches, oh my god. Oh, we actually got a drop, Crespi's tree. Oh, that secures my uh, next Grand Maxcape actually, but it's not bad. And that is five. Challenge mode nightmares done. And someone got a pet. <laughs> oh, Iron Matt got the pet, no way. I mean, kind of grits. It's, it's for the log, you know, but that's cool. All right, I think we're gonna start focusing on it. Doing some actual challenge MVPing or PVMing to get stuff done. Now, if I grab my orb, and I'm gonna start coming, I uh, stop commentating after this. But we look at it. Do this one. No show. Five kills on nightmare. Ten at terror so far. So yeah, I think we're just gonna start knocking out the list. The first thing I'm gonna do, probably five infernal runs, because that should knock out a whole bunch of NPCs. We'll just check out the list after we do a run. guys we did quite a few challenges last night got a lot of the monsters knocked out of the way at least once because that's what I'm aiming for right now I'm trying to complete all of these four challenges so that we can get the uh, pet and the icon right here I don't even know if the pet does anything and if it does do something I have no fucking idea what it does but I am curious to find out about that and on top of that you know you get three mystery tickets which 
honestly I find the mystery ticket you to be the least interesting prize out of them all like all bosses in the game all superiors at least once and you get three mystery tickets for that but do 10 expert cocks and you get a fucking Zara great box and TOB for a TOB box don't find that completely fair be like defeat all bosses could have at least been like an epic bad box or something you know what I mean but other than that there's still quite a few I need to do I need to get a Chaos Mummy scroll for Chaos Mummy, I need to get a Grand Titan key for the Grand Titan and then I need to do some other superiors as well I still have um, Thermonucleus Smoke Devil on the list a Nitro Nucleus Smoke Devil Colossal Cerberus maybe we can start off on Cerberus soon and I also gotta do a Global Nightmare kill which I'm not looking forward to I do plan to stream for 8 hours today and knock out a whole bunch, all the raid ones will be done by the time we get 10, uh, 10 KC and both, right? Uh, still gotta do an emol. Strangely enough, I don't see the Corpaferial Beast anywhere. You would think they would include that, but I don't see it. Alright, I'm gonna start out with a bit of Sacred Dungeon today and uh, try to get my key. I got Chaos Luck Tokens out. Why? Because I can. <laughs> I don't have a good reason, but uh, honestly I'm not a huge fan. We tried some at Night Terror yesterday, but they're really unreliable. It's nice to see four time drop rolls, but getting zero drop rolls is just so fucking ass that like, not worth using, right? Why is it not meleeing me? There we go. You would think that if you stand in melee range, it would melee you. For some reason it doesn't, and since this isn't multi, I guess I can't use my Titan here, right? And use a special move and stuff. Okay, that's a little tedious. I'll see you guys when I get a key. I got it on my second kill. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it took me two kills. No way. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, kill the Grand Titan. I genuinely don't remember how I did this the last time. I brought Guffers just in case. You can't use a summoning familiar in here. That's unfortunate. Would have been nice if you could. Brought Guffins just in case it hits more than I thought it did and I need to heal if I don't have enough food for it. So, you know, thought that might be a potentially good idea. Should we use range? Oh lord. Oh lord heavens above. I also have a decent amount of HP. Get some Quaker battle axe packs real quick. Oh, that's a nice one. Don't have a Grand Ring Ion, so fucking be it. Eh, yeah, we should be good here, honestly. Be about to die now. Any second, my scythe, you know, feels like hitting. If you time scythe, it's okay. I don't think chaos luck tokens will work here. But I did get five sacred tokens from it, which is pretty damn nice. Another one off the list. Well, right, let's do a little grand crest enchant again for the back to back. Beautiful. All right, next up, it's time for some Karazi Island fun time. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to get some bone keys for Naza's Troll. I just need to kill one, but since I'm going to get the key and kill Naza's Troll and all of that effort, I'll probably do two kills at the same time just to get it out of the way. You know, why bother doing all of this for one particular kill? I'd rather do five for the elite achievement and then I won't have to come back here anytime soon. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and pull a jungle uh, or a fucking Karazi and kill, right? <laughs> As if. Uh, let's get everything. Yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to NASA Stroll. All right, took a little while, but I managed to get my bone key. So let's go ahead and knock out five NASA Stroll, and that is kill number one completed. Cool. All right, I think that should be five NASA Stroll done. Always kind of adopting myself because I can't. I can't count. <laughs> should be five kills though. Started 136. Oh, I'm just bad on it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I see BA staying longer, so. If I have to go back for one singular kill, it will suck, but it's not the end of the world, I do suppose. Did, in fact, do 5 Naza Straw. I did count correctly, thank god. So we have a Chaos Mummy to do as well, which is gonna take some Narda. Then these are all raid bosses, I believe. A Global Nightmare. An Emol. Gonna get lucky that one spawns and then we'll just kill that. And then Colossal Cerberus, Nitronuclear Smoke Devil, and the Superior Godless Dungeon Bosses. Pretty much getting there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for another live stream and then uh, start knocking some out on there. Alrighty guys, I just finished another 4 hour stream. 
I could show the highlights, but there isn't a whole lot to show, honestly. We did two and a half hours of servers and couldn't get the Colossal, unfortunately. As you can see, we got quite a few mobs done so far, but it's not much of a change except for the fact that we did the Global Nightmare on stream, one singular kill, kind of shitty, but got it done. And the raid mobs in chambers three times. As you can see, I solo three expert chambers so far. Gonna try and do one more before dinner and maybe one or two more after before I start up the next stream for another four hours tonight. Fucking died. Which wouldn't be a huge deal if it wasn't for the steadiest Warhammer. Second death as well. Died to Chasm Quake the last night once. 616 charges remaining. Kind of fucking sucks. Fucking died again. What? I'm just not hitting at all. What a bullshit. God, I hate this PvP degrade system bullshit. I have no food, nothing I can do. Literally. Oh, that hurts. That really makes me a little salty, not gonna lie. So low on the stat hammer now. I'm gonna have to get a new one at some point, but still. Two deaths in one raid. Fucking uncalled for. Damn it. That was such a shitty run. Genuinely. 4kc at least, and 15 epic lux, that's nice. Before I move on though, I'm quickly gonna buy a whole bunch of holy wrenches. Do you... you know what? I'm just gonna bank everything and grab it later. To try and get a rune coin exchange or two done, depending on how much rune coin value I have. I have no idea what I have currently. But uh, I'm gonna spend all of that on raid mods for now. It's a bit of a waste, genuinely, I do believe it's to be at least, but you know, I think getting these expert raids done and then just never having to look back at them will be more beneficial in the long term. People are saying that the um, Challenger Jad pet is actually a really good pet, so I really want to get that done. I actually got a little bit under a full exchange, surprisingly enough, even with all the Barrow's items. I mean, I am keeping a lot of them, such as like spare Toric pieces, because I want to risk those at Terror and stuff like that. But uh, close enough to be honest, Ooh, an ancient wyvern shield from that uh, little M box from the daily as well. Let's go buy some mods. Wait. Bought 25 affliction tones as well, just for in the future. How many mods do we have now? Wow, still jack shit for damage. That's unfortunate. Alright then, it's a beautiful new day. Today, I actually got a God Wars Dungeon boss's uh, fucking spawn thingy. You know, a Slayer desk, I mean. So yeah, we're gonna go hard at it once again. It doesn't fucking end the grind. Got my cannon, brackish blade, key, hammer, extra unicorn stallion, pouch, no paper, etc. Okay, it should be all Gucci Gucci. Yeah, time to camp a shitload of God Wars Dungeon today. I really would like to finish it all of it today, which, you know, would take quite some time, but we'll do what we can and see how far we can get. Last night I spent about 4 hours at fucking Bandos. I think somewhere around 11pm is when I started and I didn't stop till a little over 3am. But I wasn't lucky enough to get it unfortunately. But this time I actually got a Slayer task. I brought crust beer legs instead of just this here. I don't think I need the extra little bit of soaking. Makes so little of a difference. And then uh, yeah, we're just gonna hope for the fucking best here I do suppose. Oh yeah, so as for the stream uh, last night, once again, is it worth showing the highlights? I don't think it is. Why? Okay, so basically what we started off with was finishing off the raids. I had to do six more chambers. So we finished that, got a box, got a draconic lump from it, which I believe is the blade body, but correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't made the items itself yet. 
Um, then we also did some VIP spawns for Thermonuclear Smoke Devil and we actually got a Nitro relatively quick within those spawns. So we finished that one off. And that just puts it as at the four superior Godwas dungeon bosses, the Chaos Mummy, and doing 10 expert TOBs. So that's gonna be jolly good old fun times. Uh, Ty already got the scroll, thank fuck. So I'm really happy about that. He got one from his Narda runs, so I don't have to worry about that in particular because I didn't want to do Narda while on challenge mode itself. We just have to kill the Chaos Mummy, but I think I'm gonna go and aim for four superior Godwas dungeon uh, spawns first. They are pretty rare. I am using the Holiday Boost Scrolls for 15% increased chance, making it roughly 1 in 288, I believe. Um, we're already quite a few kills in, so I hope it doesn't take too long. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get it. Right, now that I think about it, I really didn't explain much about it considering we skipped the entire stream highlight. What I'm doing right now is Elite God Wars Dungeon Bandos with melee instead of magic. Magic defense has been increased quite a bit since the last update making it a lot more rough to hit with it. And then on top of that, um, you know, Bandos is already pretty hard normally, like without challenge mode, with pets and all of that. But I figured I will try it with melee. I'm using a Blood Fury for passive healing, although it's getting quite low on charges. With the Intrinsic Alley, using Galvanic Boots for extra special attack, it restores 15% instead of 10% every minute. But that's a nice bonus, allows me to use the Brackish Blade a little more. Now for the food, we're using the Unicorn Stallion. It got updated in this last update, if you have seen both my update videos, um, where you can heal quite a bit of HP with it. And it can even heal above 99, which is extremely nice. This helps out a shitload. It's like having a whole bunch of food, it's like having 1,376 busted ass Manta Rays in one inventory slot, because it heals more than a fucking Manta. Even if I heal right now, it goes to 118. Just extremely good. I don't even think I need to use Blood Furies after this. Like I could just grab an amulet of Z-Lots or even a Sang Pendant, whatever, and just use that instead because the Stallion kind of got me covered for heals. Genuinely. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. These are uh, what we've gotten so far last night. A few Bandos boots, two Bandos pieces from the chest and uh, tessets, some dragon items, 61 Elder Shards at the moment. Started with 24 in my inventory. So a little bit of progress on that already as well, which is pretty nice. And yeah, all together, just a long, long grind to go. 351 KC currently. It's just, uh, it's just a lot. We're also at 1260 challenge points, which is enough to buy our first Christmas cracker. So I might end up doing that later, because I do want to start stocking up on party ads. That is my main goal from the challenge points. So we can get party ads for potential merchant tasks. That is something uh, I would love to cover with this. Maybe in the future, like once we're done with all the challenge mode, like the challenges itself, I'll probably start looking for something to AFK relatively, like as AFK as possible, preferably with a Terror Staff, so we can passively get challenge points from time to time. Maybe something that spawns superiors like Creel to the Rough or something, if that is easy enough to AFK. We can uh, passively grind out Christmas Crack as well, we're working on other stuff. Like if we do Creel, we can get superiors, we need 5 for an elite achievement anyway. While getting rune coins, crest pieces, and potential Christmas crackers on top of all of that. So, yeah, good stuff. 